Welcome to Tea Times 101. First, go to the members website at www.pgamembersclub.com and click log in. You will then log into the website using the unique username and password that you previously created. There will be no other usernames or passwords needed to book a tea time. Simply take your cursor, hover over golf, and click book a tea time. The tea time system will default to the champion golf course as shown in the, on the left and the day you're accessing the system is shown in the center of the page. For this purpose, we will be going to the Palmer Golf Course on March 23rd. In the center of the page, you will see a legend where there's some colors. Green, unavailable for booking. Gray, unavailable. A shaded out red means that another member is currently booking that tea time. And red means the tea time is not yet available, more than likely outside of your booking window. We'll utilize the section on the left where it currently says members only to give you information such as designated member golf courses, resort courses, cart path only, and other information that is important to you when you're booking a tea time. Select the tea time that you would like and click on the green reserve box. The person who logged into the system will automatically populate in the select spot for player number one. We ask that you add the different names of members simply by typing in the last name and clicking on the person that you would like to add. You'll notice that the system also will automatically populate to send confirmations to the players in your foursome. It defaults to a foursome, even though you have the ability to drop down and select two, three, or a single player. And it will default to riding, or you can select caddy. Defaults to riding, and it defaults to the foursome because that is the most popular means of booking. You will notice that there's a countdown in the top right-hand corner. A little clock will actually give you six minutes where this tea time will be held in abeyance. And you can actually put in all the names for us to help us out from a service perspective. Um, and you have six minutes to do that. Once all that is done, you will simply click make a tea time. For this purpose, however, I'm going to unclick the confirmations simply because I don't want to create confusion amongst the other members whose names I've just utilized. But simply click make a tea time. The tea time will be received, gives you that information. And then the nice thing also is the actual names populate on the tea sheet. That's as simple as it is, folks. We'll have more to come with other videos, but thank you for listening.